All right, people. So I'm here with a video about Dean Ambrose. Now, before I begin, you know, getting into the main point of this video, I think Dean Ambrose is a much better champion than Roman Reigns. Um, but saying that, I really don't think he's that great a champion. I think he's okay. He's okay at best. He's just an average fucking champion. So, and I think a lot of people like him. Why? Because he's from the independent scene. Now he wrestled at ROH or and New Japan Pro Wrestling or some other independent promotions. It's like everybody who comes from the Indies is great. You know, it's I think people get that mindset a lot, or at least a lot of the internet wrestling community fans or more of the hardcore fans get that sense that oh, if you, like Gals and Anderson. Like, I don't see anything special in those two, but I think a lot of people might like them because, oh, they were in New Japan Pro Wrestling for a while. So, so yeah, I'm not a big fan of Dean Ambrose, at least as a babyface. Um, first off, I don't think they should have given him the belt at Money in the Bank. I think they should have built it up, you know, built up the cash in like they did with Ziggler. Like, Ziggler's cash in was way more special than... Um, Ambrose's because they built up Ziggler even though they fucking ruined him throughout that Money in the Bank reign because they made him into a jobber. It was still really cool to see him cash in because he held it for a long time. We're thinking, oh, when is he going to cash in? And he cashes in at a great time right after WrestleMania. The crowd's hyped up and it was a great moment. Ambrose, he cashes in right after he won it. it the, the, the way he cashed in was, I thought was pretty dumb. He just hits him from behind and then cash. it was kind of just a typical fucking cash in. There was no um, no build up to the fucking cash in because it happened right after he won it. Um, so I, I, it didn't do it for me. I thought they should have waited a while. Um, and, and also too, I don't, I don't think Ambrose was built up enough to be champion. Meaning I don't think he seemed like a main eventer. He seemed like a mid-carder. I mean, they haven't really done too much with... I mean, he's maybe in the upper mid-card at best. But, I mean, he hasn't really done too much to be branded off as a world champion, as your WWE champion. I mean, he's more of a world champion than Sheamus. Remember when they gave the belt to fucking Sheamus? A, a fuck. Before he won the belt, he was a jobber. And after he won it, he, he's, he, he, he's a jobber. I mean, it's not as bad as that. But, I mean, he's... I don't think he's worthy of being crown world champion at this moment. I mean, pretty much every main event he's been in, I mean, he lost Triple H. He, he's lost to Roman Reigns. I mean, pretty much every main event he's been in, he's lost. He hasn't really beat anybody worth a shit. I mean, really, if you, uh, to, to my knowledge. And, and he, um, also, too, his gimmick needs a lot of improvement. I mean, they, they like to brand him off. Oh, he's a lunatic. He's a lunatic fringe. He belongs in a, in a in, in an asylum. Pretty much, I'm not seeing it. I do not fucking see where they get this idea. Why? Because, oh, because he opens his eyes really wide. Or they play, you know, uh, lunatic music when he walks out. Or because Michael Cole says he's a lunatic fringe. I mean... I don't get where uh, they're coming from with that gimmick. He, he just doesn't seem like much of a lunatic to me. They have to do more to make him seem like a lunatic if they want to brand him off as, as this lunatic guy. So uh, the gimmick isn't good. Uh, I do not like the gimmick. It's too soft core. It's not, you know, it's not good enough. It's not serious enough. It's not serious, but it's just they don't do enough with the gimmick. I don't think his promos are that good. Um, and, I, and I think it's kind of corny, too, how they try to bring... It's, uh, that's just w w w what it appears to be to me. It's uh, it's not just not good enough. It should be more hardcore, maybe even more TV-14-ish. But I, I do not like the fucking gimmick people. Um, so, so given all that, I, I do not think they should have given the belt to Dean Ambrose. I did, I did not like the fucking decision there. I uh, think they would have much better ha have it in the hands of Seth Rollins, even though, you know, they, they could have given the belt to Seth Rollins at SummerSlam, and that could still happen, but, you know, I, I just do not like the fact of Dean Ambrose being champion. 
I, 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 I just don't think he's a worthy chance. Some people might disagree. I'm sure there are a lot of people who do disagree with me. But I did not like that decision to give him the belt at uh, Money in the Bank. Um, but, but there you go, people. Um, there's basically my thoughts on that. So uh, let me know what you think. Do you think Dean Ambrose is a worthy champion or not? I just think that, again, I'm not a big fan of his. But regardless of how I think of him, I thought they should have built him up a little bit more before they gave him the belt. But, you know, like I said, it is better than the case where, where we had with Sheamus getting the belt, who was a, a, a complete jobber when he won that belt. But, but anyway, like I said, let me know what you think. So there you go, people.